Hi everyone, I'm Irma and in this video I'll show you how to fix the dreaded internal server error. So if you're here because you're facing the error right now or you simply want to be prepared, this is what we'll look into. What is the HTTP error 500? its possible causes and ways to resolve them. Three to be precise or rather three and a half. But before you attempt to try any of these, remember, remember to back up your site. First things first, you've gone to a page and there's an error. Let me show you the various names this particular error might hide behind. It can be HTTP error 500, 500 internal server error, HTTP internal server error, internal server error. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> so words like 500 and internal server will all lead to the same error. And what this error is, is a general server error. And the problem about it is that it doesn't tell you right away what exactly is causing it, like other errors do. This is also not a WordPress specific error, so we have to do some troubleshooting to get to the bottom of it. And let's jump straight to the potential causes of the error and their fixes. First and foremost, just refresh the page. Sometimes the most obvious solution is the one that doesn't come to mind. So start with that. There might be a plugin issue that's causing the error, like faulty installation, incompatibilities, etc. So the first thing to do is to deactivate all plugins and check if the error has disappeared. You can easily deactivate all plugins if you go to your WordPress admin panel, plugins, check this box right here. So that checks all the plugins that you've got and here in bulk actions, click on deactivate and apply. So what that does, it deactivates all your plugins. What you would do at this point is just check if the error has disappeared. If it has, simply activate the plugins one by one and check again if the error appears again. So when it does, you'll know that that's the plugin that's causing the issue. If by any chance you've got the error and you can't access the dashboard, you can deactivate all the plugins uh, through your FTP account. So let me open it up here. So let's find, so here is my page. And what you have to do is find the WP content folder, which is here, and then the plugins folder. What you can to do now is rename it. Let's say add test here. And what that will do is it will deactivate all of your plugins. So now the same thing all over again, simply activate them one by one to see which one could be causing the error. If it's none, then we can move forward. And don't forget to set the name of the plugins folder back. So just take that off and continue. So another possible cause of the internal server error can be a corrupted HD access file. To check, again, log into your FTP account. This time you'll have to find the HD access file. So now rename the file. You can do this like that. Let's have the test again. Overwrite and check if the error is gone. If this is what was causing the error, the fix will be to replace the file. So to generate a new HD access file, we'll have to go to our WordPress dashboard, locate the settings here and permalinks. Now simply scroll to the bottom and save changes. And that should have fixed the issue. Again, if not, we can go further. An exceeded PHP memory limit can cause the internal server error. So the logical step here is to increase the PHP memory limit. First, you can check your PHP memory limit if you go to your WordPress dashboard, Tools and Site Health. Here, click on Info. And then Server here. And here you can see the PHP memory limit. 
mine's actually quite all right. This is the amount you should aim for, but if it's lower, you can of course increase it a little. Let me show you how. So to do that, once again, you'll have to log into your FTP account. And there you'll have to locate this file right here. So we're not able to edit it here. So let me just drag it to my computer so we can actually do something with it. Okay, so now just open the file with any text editor that you prefer. And what we'll have to do here is just add a simple line of code. You can find the code snippet if you go to our blog post about this error exactly. So let's do that. And here we go. This is the line of code. And you have to add it under the PHP opening tag. And that's basically it. What we have to do now is save the file. And bring it back to the root directory, which is right here. Let's drag it back. And yes, I want to overwrite the previous one. And that is it. At this point, you should obviously check if this has helped. And as I said before, you can check if the amount has increased. For me, it was that already, but you can check it on your side. If you've tried all of these and nothing works, I'd suggest turning to your hosting provider for help. They might be able to give more information about what's going on. And the bright side is that most hosting providers offer 24 seven support. So don't be afraid to ask for some help here. And now you should be prepared if this error ever comes your way. And once again, back up your site. Finding an error and breaking your site in the process of fixing it is definitely not a good combination. So hopefully this video helped. And uh, that's it from my side. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.